I would like to dedicate this video to Beth Rodjob and his bride Sammy who sadly passed away just a few weeks ago. The reason why I talk about Bear and Sammy is because Sammy she fought the same fight against cancer that I did and of course it makes you a little bit connected to each other. To be able to forget sometimes a little bit her daily misery, Sammy watched videos from a whole bunch of really great YouTube creators and she also watched mine. So for me it was really an honor to know that I could make her smile sometime even if I never met her and even if there was an ocean between us. So Sammy, thank you very much. When I learned the bad news on YouTube, I was on vacation and I was really touched by it. And I felt that I had to do something and I think the ideal should be to do something for her in the workshop. But of course, when I go on vacation, I don't bring my workshop with me. But what I do on vacation always is send sculpting. So, Sammy, I made this castle specially for you. And you can't miss it. I marked your name on it. So if you have somewhere two minutes left in your day, please go and have a look at Bear's channel, of course, link in description, and show him a little bit of love. I'm pretty sure he can use it. And now, let's make something. Not even so long ago, I made this little angle plate to be able to install the pipes I use to make cylinders so I can bore them out on the deckle. That was the plan. And it works, but of course there is a little bit of a problem of squaring this thing up when this is in place and the pipe in place and then these two U things here I can't put a square against it. So it would be nice if I install my angle block that automatically it will be square. Now in the comments, which I always largely appreciate of course, there were some ideas that if I have an end mill, a long one and, and 45 degrees and um, yeah, okay. Of course I understand you want to help me with this and I really really appreciate it but I like simple and effective solutions and two of you came with the idea to mill just a recess here a little kind of slot the width of my v-block so it can fit in without turning left or right. That idea is as simple as brilliant. So thank you very much. I really like it. So let's go over to the decal and make this slot thing in here. What I would like to do is first of all recut a little bit this surface. Now there's nothing wrong with this surface, but I think I would like more a little bit better finish on it. Finish is not bad but I think we can do better. So the best way of course is to do it the way I did it last time. Make again a horizontal milling machine of this thing. Because the 
between my machine here, the top of the machine, and the ceiling is not enough, I'm not able to install whatever kind of lifting device. So for me it was a big problem because this thing is heavy. And then some, someone in the comment section said, hey, why don't you just make some kind of ramp between the table of the milling machine and your workbench. Brilliant idea. I have found some kind of mysterious material here. Put two planks on it. Squeeze. Here we go. That's all it takes to prevent ships from flying from the workpiece into the top of my machine here. What I did last time, I installed the horizontal support arm all the way back so it covers up this opening with gears in it. Of course this support arm is also very heavy. So what I would like to do is to make something very simple, just some light, even ultralight cover that I can put on here, clap on, finish. No back breaking things to do, just close up. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. I think I found something. This is some kind of cover that a colleague at work made years ago with uh, lots of love and of course aluminium. The idea is to cut out a piece of hair and then make this thing two uh, little sides here, 10 millimeter, 15 on the front and 130 and uh, let's go for it. I don't know if you noticed, but this time I have a plan. Voila! And don't talk to me about magnets. I think magnets and ships is not a good mix. Of course, there was uh, maybe a system to make it better, but I think this will do. Let's install the workpiece and the cutter. I really have a little problem holding this magnet here. The layer of paint is too thick and because the paint is uh, completely damaged I'm gonna take it off a little bit more so my magnets will work a little bit better, I hope.
Yes, that will do. There seems to be a little bow in my part here. Everything is installed, but of course not without collateral damage. But it is what it is. I'm gonna use my big fly cutter. I made it some time ago and I Never used it. I hope this thing is not gonna sing because uh, chatter problems could happen. This thing will run 300 rpm. It's a bit over 60 meters per minute cutting speed. Let's see what happens. After a little bit deburring and clean up, it will fit perfectly. Let's give this thing a go. I think it looks good. I deburred it. Take my little block here. Automatic. The pipe. The test square. This one looks good. It's a bit harder to see, but yes. Of course, I wanted to end this video with showing you the perfect poured out little piece of pipe. But it's not gonna happen. There is a bit of a problem here with my decal. If I feed down, it works. But this handle is stuck, can't get it out. And what I can do, and I don't know if it's normal, now it's out. If I want to feed up the shear pin that's uh, hidden below here in the system, breaks. 
when I turn my hand it's really easy to turn up and down no problem at all so if anyone has a clue of what's happening because I really don't know it's a bit the opposite like for example this t-shirt I'm wearing it doesn't look good because you have the impression that you have it the wrong way around but it isn't so it looks like shit but it works here everything looks good but it doesn't so if you're a decal specialist please let me know what's happening and even if you're not a specialist and you have a good idea of maybe let me know in the comments because I really don't have a clue but there's also good news I received stickers some time ago but I had uh, things to do and then there was a vacation and that's why it took so long so Chris I'm really sorry uh, that's uh, the only reason I could come up with Chris from FNA right engineering and his logo is I need my glasses for that making life easier in an unnecessary complicated ways I love this one Chris thank you very much for your sticker and as you can see I already put one on the cheap door so no problem and of course as always there's a link to Chris's channel in the description so don't forget to subscribe and please take a minute to visit Bear's Rod Shop give him some support see you next time